actually. This is Josian's blog. And this particular one is about sharing. And um, it's, it's a really, it's, a, it's some self-forgiveness on this experience of feeling uncomfortable in this situation of sharing. And it, it, it really struck me what, a, what an amazingly um, common experience this is, that it happens every day where two beings get together and they and they just and one of them let's say just wants to simply express and um and communicate a, an experience that they had in a in a self-honest way which is really just the being expressing um in the situation though of their their being a mind system and um, everything that comes along with that. And um, so there is this awkwardness and um, discomfort in um, just the, the, the absolutely simple situation of beings in existence expressing themselves and sharing who they are with each other. And so Josian's blog actually actually highlights this um, this kind of negotiation that we have to do with ourselves through our mind system, um, including all of the restrictions and um, sort of regulations and fears and um, so many so many fears about just simply expressing and um, so this because this is this is something that happens every day and as there isn't anybody who doesn't know this this feeling of awkwardness and discomfort when it actually comes to um, sharing oneself or an experience one had um, in an honest way with somebody. And it really highlights the, um, the, um, the oppressive atmosphere that we have created in this world in which just simply sharing who we are with each other is a whole minefield um, which as Josian points out is one that we we all set up for ourselves in that in feeling um, uncomfortable and awkward about you know sort of trying to find um, a kind of special moment or a, a kind of protected situation in which we can maybe possibly share this thing that our minds have decided uh, is a kind of presentable aspect of ourselves um, and um, how it is that in feeling awkward and uncomfortable then we we don't actually share what is actually happening in that moment um, and go go towards actually deciding to um, not share that thing that we were going to share or put it away and then have feelings about having done that um, so um, this is this is a really cool bit of self-forgiveness and um, I, I think I'm going to read some of it through It starts off with what I've been talking about. I forgive myself that I've accepted and allowed myself to, in the moment of sharing a past experience, to feel really weird and awkward because I didn't yet allow myself to be comfortable with myself and thus with others in moments of sharing and speaking. 
I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to feel embarrassed, realizing that my friend actually doesn't have that much time to listen to me. And in that very moment, I take it personally, instead of seeing that this is just not the right moment, and that is that. I forgive myself to have accepted and allowed myself to feel guilty to just share myself without asking for permission or whether this would be a good time for the other to do so. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to feel disappointed because my friend doesn't have time for me now. I see, realise and understand that in this whole play out I am actually already looking for a way out because I feel vulnerable start sabotaging myself in all kinds of bullshit to justify not sharing myself. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to feel uncomfortable when I am sharing myself with a friend as I now have revealed something of myself which must not be shared because it will place me in a vulnerable position. I forgive myself to have accepted and allowed myself to have created an idea that when I am sharing myself with someone that the other person can reject me. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to connect sharing myself with the word rejection. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to hold a belief that others can reject me. I forgive myself to have accepted and allowed myself to connect sharing myself with the possibility of being rejected and I rather avoid being rejected so I prefer not to share myself at all. I forgive myself to have accepted and allowed myself to feel like I'm losing something when I share myself. I forgive myself to have accepted and allowed myself to connect the experiencing of losing something of myself with sharing myself with others. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to connect sharing myself with being vulnerable because I can be rejected. I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to feel that I lose something when I share myself not yet seeing and understanding that I lose the safety zone of the mind's seclusion of itself. So that, that self-forgiveness is, is all to do with the difficulties of communication between beings given that we are totally tangled in these mind systems which exist in fear and um, this this blog really really highlights this moment when two people get together and one of them has to wants to share something and becomes embroiled in the in these sort of intricate rules and regulations um, that we accept and allow as ourselves as characters being operated by this consciousness in our mind systems. So, anyway, very cool blog. I'll put the address of it underneath this video. Thanks very much.